got good news. Putting you in my fave five. This is real? Yep. <laughs> you in, baby. Call me anytime. Anytime? Anytime. Anytime. Hey, Chuck. Yeah, I watched the game from last night. Chuck, I think I know how to dunk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your defense has really been shaky lately. We can talk about that later. Man. I'm really in the middle of something. I don't want to look too fat and high definition. That's what HD stands for. You didn't know that, did you? I know, Chuck. Sleeping, Chuck. Well, it's only 2 o'clock here. Either play better or call in sick. You like popsicles? You ever been to Amsterdam? Everybody else has left the locker room. And that's why I don't eat shrimp. I need to come hang out with you because I am really bored. I'm losing you, buddy. I'm driving through a tunnel. You're not driving through no tunnel. Hey, Chuck. What is it, Chuck? Hey, Chuck. What, Chuck? Hey, Chuck. What's wrong? Are you asleep? Wake up, Dwayne. D. Wade went to Chicago. He went home. I know I'm late. I know I should have commented on this way sooner. I don't need any stats, really, to go over when I look at Dwayne Wade. I think him leaving Miami is sad. When you look at what he's done for the Miami Heat organization... First of all, when you look at the expansion teams that were brought to the NBA during the 90s, the Miami Heat are the only team that's been able to win an NBA championship. In fact, they've got three. And they owe Dwayne Wade lots of thanks on every single one. But what he meant to the team, as far as being a fashion icon, we see the NBA now, we do talk about players dressing like models. Dwayne Wade's been doing that for about 10 years. Dwayne Wade's taking fashions that seriously for about 10 years. It's not nothing new to him. I've always respected him. I've thought he's been the best dressed player in basketball for a while. Now I go with Russell Westbrook. But as a leader, you know, bringing LeBron James to Miami is the reason why they're even relevant as an organization. Let's not forget the way they fell off the face of the planet after winning in 06. They lost in the first round to the Chicago Bulls, ironically. They got blown off the court in that series, and it's not like the Bulls had superstars on the court. We're talking about Kirk Heinrich, Ben Gordon as your backcourt. So when you look at the fact that Miami, Pat Riley especially, allows Dwayne Wade to walk out, and they don't feel that they need to pay him because they say, well, we didn't ask you to take a pay cut in order for them to bring LeBron James in. I look at organizations like the Spurs, like the Dallas Mavericks. They're going to take care of Dirk Nowinski and Tim Duncan for the rest of their lives. Obviously, that deal was not made with Dwayne Wade. The way he performed last year, the way he was able to close out the Charlotte Hornets, the way he was able to put them in position to win with literally no help, missing Chris Bosh, missing Hassan Whiteside down the stretch versus the Toronto Raptors, is remarkable at this stage of his career. He's the third greatest shooting guard in NBA history. And sorry, guys that play that position because of who played that position as the greatest player of all time, get their checks. I think it's despicable. I think it's disgusting. I think it also shows how the power movement has changed. I think it shows the impact that LeBron James has made on the game by going to Miami. And the reason why Dwayne Wade is just as important is that LeBron decided that Dwayne Wade was the guy that I can run with. Their games modeled each other. The way they played on their individual teams before joining forces were literally the same. Just LeBron was just slightly better. That was the only difference. We saw with the damage that they did to basketball. When you talk about great one-two punches, I do believe that LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are right there with Shaq and Kobe, Mike and Scotty. It's without question. The real question is who would you take, Scotty or Dwayne Wade? The guy who was able to win a finals MVP alongside Shaq or the guy who led the Bulls in seven different statistical categories in 1994 following Michael Jordan's retirement. However, I digress. Miami should have paid Dwayne Wade. Bringing LeBron James, whether Pat Riley wants to admit it or not, there was no conversation that Pat Riley could have with LeBron James that was going to be the main reason why LeBron James would want to go to the Miami Heat. It was the fact that he was going to play with one of his brothers, one of his best friends, Dwayne Wade, the guy he's constantly on vacation with year after year after year. Okay? And Dwayne Wade deserves the check for that. I'm sorry, ain't nothing free in this world but Jesus. And I don't mean to offend anyone who might feel that that's out of place, but it's the appropriate statement. Dwayne Wade leaving Miami is now letting the world know that when it comes to the NBA, if you feel that the owners and the guys who are making much more money off of the name Wade or James should have more power over these guys' lives, I completely disagree with you. And I've gone off the cusp here, and that's simply because players are controlling their movement. 
I don't respect Kevin Durant's decision to leave the Oklahoma City Thunder to join the Golden State Warriors, not because I don't respect a player making that decision. I just didn't respect the fact that he left that team to go to the team that he just beat him, that he could have beat himself in OKC. When you look at Dwayne Wade leaving, yes, he tweeted loyalty, ha, 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 years ago. It's real. And this NBA is going to change completely in the future. And that's thanks in part to LeBron James leaving Cleveland to join the Miami Heat. And that's thanks in part to Dwayne Wade. And I believe that that man should have been compensated when you look at the fact that he sacrificed his all-time numbers. When people look back at Dwayne Wade's career, when you look at the four years of him, LeBron, and Chris Bosh in Miami, you're going to see that he took a major step back. Not just because of health reasons, but because he had to. And anybody who sacrifices their numbers as an athlete to that extreme level when he's the third greatest shooting guard of all time when you talk about his shot blocking ability as well, deserve to be compensated by the organization that he brought glory, joy, happiness, and ends to. And that's how I feel about Dwayne Wade. Nothing but the best wishes the for him in Chicago. Like Dwayne Wade, they've actually negotiated final cut of their highlights. I think that works, Dwayne. Mm. You know what? First, we should go with a medium to draw the audience in. Then we should go real wide to give it a sense of context. Dwayne, we're we're going to need that highlight. When it's ready. Then we're gonna go well, but way. you missed two shows already. When it's ready. You think we can add a couple more defenders with CGI? That would make me look more like a hero, you know, a superhero.